Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about relationships. But before I get started, make sure to hit the notification bell, subscribe, comment, and like this video. So it'll help the YouTube algorithm and motivate me to make more videos like these. Okay, so today's topic is, should you keep any nicknames that your ex specifically gave you? I would not want my new partner to call me the same name, such as Rosy Cheeks. Silly monster, cuddly bear, you get what I'm saying. However, there are some general names that are very common that people use, such as babe and baby. And if it's not really a big deal to you, it doesn't remind you of your ex, your previous partner, I say why not? Definitely keep those names if both of you guys feel like it's no big deal. Anything that reminds you of an ex is probably not good to bring into your present relationships or future relationships. You guys split for a reason and it doesn't make sense that your current partner calls you the same name as your previous ex did. It just doesn't help you move on and to me it's a little awkward. Now let's say this new partner that you have is used to calling all girls a specific nickname and this includes his ex and it includes you. It is really up to you if you feel comfortable with this nickname. Make sure you tell him or her how you feel. Make sure to speak up because you want your new relationship to thrive and the past should stay in the past. Now let's say your previous ex called you Sweetie Pie and you really liked that nickname. Not because it reminded you of your ex, but because you really liked that name. So I guess that's an exception. If you'd like your current partner to call you this Sweetie Pie just because it's endearing, then make sure to tell him or her. However, if it reminds you of a previous partner, I would say stay away. If you like more of these videos again, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And also feel free to check out books that I like that have given me a better insight on relationships. The link is below and I hope you like these books as well. Thanks for watching.